Kate Middleton miss Meghan Markle's baby shower after opting instead for a secret family skiing trip, in a move that will do nothing to dampen speculation of a royal rift. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, who is seven months pregnant, flew from London to the US on Friday to celebrate her baby among close friends in what proved to be a lavish affair. But her sister-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge, was noticeable in her absence, having eschewed the celebrations for a half-term break with William, 36, and her three children, George, 5, Charlotte, 3 and Louis, aged just nine months. The Sun reported last night that she and William blocked out their diaries to ensure they had some quality time with their brood who are off school this week. Prince George attends Thomas's Battersea in southwest London while Princess Charlotte goes to the Wilcox Nursery School near their home in Kensington. A royal source reportedly said the Cambridges have headed for the ski slopes after the unfortunate diary clash. Three years ago William and Kate took their two eldest to the glamorous Courcheval in the Troy Valleys in France, where they shared some snow-filled snaps together. The star-studded baby shower ended earlier today, with Meghan's close friend the human rights lawyer Amal Clooney making a glamorous entrance. The lavish $300,000 celebration took place in a $75,000 a night penthouse at a swanky Manhattan hotel. The Duchess of Sussex looked in high spirits as she left the celebrations in New York with her inner circle, where Kate Middleton was noticeably absent. So stepping out on the cryptic baseball cap may get some royal fans talking about whether Meghan is sending a secret message to certain people in her life. Some have pointed out that Meghan could be showing support for her friend Abigail Spencer, who stars in a TV series called Rectify. Meghan, 37, has surrounded herself with A-list pals including Amal Clooney and Serena Williams this week as she celebrates her impending due date. But Kate decided to give the baby shower a miss in favor of spending the half-term break on a secret skiing holiday with her brood. She and Wills, 36, blocked out their diaries to ensure they spent quality time with their children, who are off school this week. According to a royal source, the Cambridges have jetted off on a secret snow-filled holiday for some much-needed family time together. Despite Kate's absence, Meghan looked the picture of happiness as she left her baby shower at the Mark Hotel's £57,000 a night penthouse. Tennis star Serena Williams and human rights lawyer Amal Clooney were said to be co-hosting the event for the penthouse suite. Williams is reportedly footing the $75,000 bill for extravagant shower. It is America's most expensive hotel room and is described as a castle in the sky. Meghan's pal Abigail Spencer brought in a gift wrapped in blue paper, a possible hint at the baby's sex. A 3-inch Dash 1 convertible crib that retails at $379 was also taken into the lavish hotel. Caterers were snapped carrying boxes into the Mark Hotel, where the 37-year-old's baby shower was set to take place at 12.30 p.m. local time, Tatler reports. Megan's baby shower reportedly started with a flower arranging lesson paired with a dessert table prepared by the restaurant's head chef, Jean Georges Van Derichten. Megan flew to see her best mates after enjoying a low-key Valentine's Day meal with husband Harry, 33, on Thursday night. The Sun revealed he'd taken a £26,000 private jet to make it to Norway and back in a day so he could spend the evening with his wife. Meghan and Amal are thought to have been friends for several years now, having been brought together by their respective husbands, actor George and Prince Harry, who have been close friends for many years. The foursome are said to have spent a lot of time together, thanks in large part to the fact that they are all based in the UK, with George, 57, and Amal living together in Oxfordshire Mansion, which Meghan and Harry are believed to be regular visitors to. Earlier this month, George spoke out to defend Meghan, insisting she has been pursued and vilified in the same way that Prince Harry's late mother Diana was. There were also reports that the Hollywood star would be asked by Prince Harry and Meghan to serve as the godfather to their firstborn child, although he was quick to shut down those rumors, explaining that as his hands full with his own twins. Please like, comment, and subscribe to channel. Thank you for watching my video.